What's up guys? The brand new Scream trailer is here. The full length trailer. Looks like it's two, two minutes, 24 seconds, something like that. So could be a lot going on. Uh, this is the first trailer reaction I've done downstairs. I'm watching it on the big screen so I can see it in all its high def, uh, immersive sound glory. So yeah, yeah. Anyway, yeah, let's do this. Let's do this. All right. So uh, three, two, one and go. That's Stu. That's gotta be Stu. <laughs> Stu would do something like that. Because he's pissed. He seems really, really pissed off. Man, that mask looks awesome. I had this secret. I had this secret. There's a darkness inside of me. There's a darkness inside of me. It followed me. Uh oh. And it's gonna keep coming for us. <laughs> We share a certain history. We share a certain history. This isn't like any other ghost face. What is this place? A shrine. A shrine. We've got what? We execute him. We execute him. Hello. Let's play a game. You know you're like the tenth guy to try this, right? It never works out for the dipshit in the mask. Maybe. But there's never been one like me, Gale. I'm something different. That's why I'm gonna shoot you in the head. You want me. So let's finish this. Guys? It's ready. It's a long trailer. Damn guys, a lot to unpack. This is gonna be a quick reaction. I am definitely gonna do a more in-depth, maybe shot by shot uh, breakdown of this trailer. This is gonna be my quick initial thoughts. This looks like everything I've always wanted in a Scream movie because I've never been like this massive Scream fan. I love, you know, I love the first movie immensely. Uh, the, the other movies are fun, but, um, I guess the big thing is uh, a lot of the movies feel like they're trying to recapture the magic of the first movie all the way down to, you know, the two killer concept, the plot. I know that um, Scream 3 had uh, one killer, but originally there was going to be two killers in that movie. Uh, by the way, guys, um, I'm in the initial phase of editing the Scream documentary. It's going to be probably an hour long. It's going to be early March, right before the new movie comes out. and putting a lot into this documentary. It's gonna be, uh, I'm gonna be exhausted by the time it's over, but I, I'm gonna be exhausted because I want it to be awesome. And it's gonna be awesome and you guys are gonna love it. You guys are gonna freaking love it. My wife's actually writing the script. She did the script for the last one with my input, of course, but it's gonna be amazing. But yeah, back to this trailer um, real quick. It looks like they're changing things up. I love the new location in New York, which looks really fun. Um, I think the biggest thing that I'm most excited about is Sam and uh, her being more in touch with her darker side because of her lineage, you know, um, her father being Billy Loomis. I just gave Scream 5 another fresh watch literally like two days ago. I will say this, guys, all right? You know me, I'm always upfront and honest with you guys. Scream 5 went up just a little bit for me, just a little bit, uh, and I actually did enjoy the final act better this time because of the whole toxic fan uh, idea 
and, and I don't know, it just kind of registered better with me. Also because, you know, I know the final act and uh, I was able to put aside all my disgruntled issues with the movie and it's still a three and a half out of five movie. It's not perfect by any means, but I think I'm just so excited for this new movie too and maybe that's why I enjoyed it more, but yeah, bottom line, I love that this takes place in New York. I love that it doesn't hold back. Um, it seems to be taking the whole ghost face concept even further, almost cult-like. And if you know where I'm going with that, I definitely think Stu's coming back. I, I don't know if he'll be back in this movie, although I wouldn't be surprised if he comes back in this movie because that mask is really interesting. Okay, um, that's a decayed looking mask. So that tells me that, yeah, it might not be Stu, probably not Stu, but it's somebody that has been into this whole ghost face idea, these killings, pretty much from maybe the beginning, you know, and maybe they've had their own mask or maybe they've even had a stake in the whole thing from the beginning and it's just been hidden. I think whoever's behind that decayed looking mask is going to be quite surprising and maybe somebody that we know. Okay, super excited that Kirby's back. God, there's so much you can talk about with this. Um, I'm trying to keep it short, okay? I'm gonna do a, a full-on breakdown, guys, but as you can tell, I am really excited about this, and this has the potential to be probably, you know, maybe the, the second best screen movie. I doubt any movie will top the first one. That movie's almost perfection, but this looks, this is going in the direction I want them to go, and more importantly, it's setting things up for the future. Okay, so really so uh, really stoked, really excited. Let me know down in the comments your thoughts on this trailer. Looking forward to hearing them. Again, look forward to a more in-depth breakdown. I probably will do a live stream on this uh, maybe Sunday night, okay? T tomorrow night is the Patreon uh, uh, movie hangout. We're going to do the, the first Terminator. That's going to be fun as fuck. Um, and I, there's going to be prizes too, okay? Because I have a stack of brand new Blu-rays. Uh, so get your trivia ready. If you're not a Drum Dumps patron, come over to the patron page. But uh, yeah, anyway, guys, looking forward to this movie. See you soon.